everyone welcome back to our channel today we will be solving another physics 7c practice problem called spherical mirrors and images felicity's magnified candle remember if you find this video helpful please subscribe to our channel and leave a like your support helps a lot and we really appreciate the feedback okay here's the problem feel free to pause the video to copy the problem so that it's easy for you to follow along after placing a lit 5 centimeter tall candle a small distance away from a lens of unknown focal length, Felicity observes that she can focus an image of the candle onto a screen. When the image is in focus, she measures that the distance between the screen and the candle is 30 centimeters, and that the length of the candle on the screen is 2.5 centimeters tall. What we want to find out is, what is the magnification of the image Felicity sees? What is the focal length of Felicity's lens? Is Felicity's lens converging or diverging? And how do we know? Okay, here's my beautiful picture of the candle, the lens, and the screen. So the first thing we want to know is what is the magnification the image Felicity sees? Okay, so before we do anything, let's make sure we know the equation because we're going to have to use it. So magnification in optics is the negative of the image over the object or the height of the image over the height of the object. Okay, we're going to use this for our magnification. So if, if our image is 5 centimeters tall, I'm sorry, uh, our image is, uh, the object is 5 centimeters tall. The image is 2.5 centimeters tall. So what we want to do is find out the magnification. So this is saying when this light goes through this lens and it collects at some height, which is 2.5 centimeters, um, what is what is the magnification? Okay, so the magnification of this image, which we can figure out without doing any real math, right? If it goes from 5 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters, really what we're saying is the height of the object equals the height of the image times 2, right? So if we say M times HO equals HI, we're really saying that M equals one half, but let's show that work here. M equals the height of the image, which is five centimeters. I'm sorry, which is 2.5 centimeters and the height of the object, which is five centimeters. The units cancel, magnification is just a numerical value. 2.5 divided by five is one half. So this is our magnification from the lens. Now we want to talk about what the sign of this magnification is. Are we saying that it's growing or shrinking? Well, just by looking at it, we know the image is shrinking. So the magnification is negative. Um, so I should put an absolute value sign here because we didn't say if it's real or virtual. Um, we want to know is the image inverted is essentially what we're saying. So we know the image is real because this is a screen and the actual light is hitting the screen. So the screen is catching the photons from the candle. So once the screen catches these photons, it creates an image. We want to know is this image right side up or upside down? Is this thing flipping it or is it keeping it upright? We know it shrinks it, but we want to know is it vertically upright or upside down? <clears throat> well, for this image to be um, vertical or upside down, we need to know um, whether or not if we plug in the height of the object and the height of the image, whether or not So f since this is a lens, for this to be um, 
on the other side, the image has to be flipped. Uh, so that's what we need to know on whether or not this image is, the magnification is positive or negative. And that's whether this image is flipped or not. And since it's a real image, we know that real images have to be flipped upside down. So this image is flipped upside down. And once again, we know this is flipped upside down is because the only way for this to be a real image over here is if the candle is flipped upside down. Okay, so that means our final answer is negative one half. And once again, that's because the only way for this to be a real image over here, that is for the photons to hit the screen, the image has to be upside down. You can think of your eyeballs. We are always told that when light hits our eyes, the image is actually upside down and our brain uh, inverts that. Um, and that's the same case here. You can imagine this lens is your eyeball. And so whenever we get the light focused, since we're collecting the actual photons, the image has to be upside down. Okay, so part two. What is the focal length of Felicity's lens? So we can use the fact that, so for part two, we can use the fact that M equals negative I over O. Right? And we also know that this equals negative one half. Well, we know the object's distance from the lens. Um, right? So what we can say is 2 times the image equals the object. I'll put a little squirrel there so you don't think it's a zero. So since we're given this, we know that the distance from the object to the screen is 30 centimeters. Um, that is to say the distance from the image plus the object equals 30 centimeters. Okay, so we can use this 2i equals o so 2 times the image equals the object, right? We got that from this equation here. And then we can use the fact that we know the distance from the object to the image is 30 centimeters, right? So if we plug in this 2i equals o, we get i plus 2i equals 30 centimeters or i equals 30 divided by, because this is 3i now, 30 divided by 3, which is 10 centimeters. Okay. We can plug this back into either one of these equations and find that the object must be 20 centimeters. Okay. So now that we have those two values, we need to use our focal length equation. So we're going to use those two values to use our focal length equation, which is 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the object plus 1 over the image. Okay, so we know our object and we know our image. So that means 1 over the focal length equals 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 10. If we do our math here, this equals 3 over uh, 20. And so, these units here are centimeters. So when we invert this, because it's 1 over f, we get f equals 20 over 3 centimeters. And that is our focal length. Okay, so our last piece is, is Felicity's lens converging or diverging? So we have to think about um, what makes something converging or diverging, right? Well, there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, the most simple and straightforward thing is, 
if our focal length is greater than zero, we have a converging system, a converging lens. And if f is less than zero, we have a diverging lens. There are other ways you can answer this, um, such as the image is real. So if the image is real um, and upside down, uh, we can use things in that nature to, um, to solve for this. But the most straightforward one in this case is the focal length. Saying the focal length is greater than zero says that it is converging. And if the focal length was less than zero, it's diverging. But in this case, since we found that the image was positive and that the object was positive, um, we get that our net answer is positive, And so our focal length is greater than zero. And so Felicity's lens is converging. Okay, this finishes our problem. Uh, if this was helpful, please leave a like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.